Hello, brothers and sisters. I want to welcome you to my channel. Uh, what I want to discuss in this particular video is the vision that the Lord God gave me on October the 6th and the one that he gave me right before Thanksgiving. Okay, so um, these really match up. And um, so let me, let me begin. Okay, so on October the 6th, he gives me the first vision of darkness. He's showing us actually when war is going to hit. It's either going to hit right at dark or in the middle of the night, the early a.m. hours. But Russia will hit, which we all know from what we've understood from many, many people, not just me, that it's going to be New York that's hit. Uh, the Lord God showed me three maps in red alert color. The entire map was in a red alert. Uh, he led me to the cities that he's actually given to Sarah Manette when she died. She committed suicide and then he brought her back to life and she wrote a book about it. It's on YouTube. You type in Sarah Manette, M-E-N-E-T, 2019, and you will hear um, from Christian Journal, I believe it is, Media. You will hear uh, her story read for about 35 minutes uh, from her book of all the details that the Lord God showed her of three winners, two being nuclear light winners, and one winter, the volcano is actually blowing and the rapture coming afterwards. Okay, so let me finish on. So the three red maps that would be in red alert would be New York City, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City. These all three, four cities will get hit with nuclear bombs, train bombs, bombs on the ground, possibly in briefcases and many other objects. Also, the Lord God has showed me that power will break he showed me the power lines was lit up with broke electricity and then they stopped fusing electricity out. So he was showing me it was going to be a complete power outage throughout our country. Then he showed me, which I do not understand, Cindy, I am ready. That was for the safe haven, keys for the safe haven. I believe now I understand, and he's been pointing me to that particular vision for quite some time now, ever since he gave it to me, um, that he's using the safe haven money, safe haven money from the actual economy uh, crashing. Okay, so um, he's already zapped out money and he stashed it to the side in certain bank accounts, don't know whose, for all safe havens worldwide. He just hasn't poured that out yet until war hits. His timing will be when war hits and the power goes down. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how he's going to get food and supplies. He's God. He knows everything. Um, now then, uh, what he showed me right before Thanksgiving was these things. Okay? He showed me that there would be, and I'm starting to think now, that it's cities. Uh, but he showed me uh, a horrific event of fire burning so badly on the land. He did not let me see if it was a city, but I'm imagining that it's cities. Uh, and that it was burning so badly, it was the color of the red that is put off from a tire when a tire is burning. He also showed me people were gathered like a dinner, a Christmas dinner. Thanksgiving's already gone, so Christmas is today. Uh, the only other gathering that can be would be New Year's, a celebration. Okay, then he showed me business after business after business all across the earth, uncountable visions. He showed me my hand only had three dollars in it, so that was a sign that the economy crashed. He showed me that people would be driving from cities with their headlights on through a thick, huge smoke. He showed me two people dressed like saints or dressed like the pulp with a red rope necklace around their neck. They were being tossed around like they were in a dryer. Then he showed me a vision of a huge, horrific size, city-like size UFO with portholes underneath it, three portholes. They were kind of a yellowish colored light. Uh, and he showed me they were like the size of city blocks. So, um, 
we need to be on the alert that these things will happen just any day now because he has showed me last Thursday, tomorrow will be one week. The economy number that he showed me right before Thanksgiving is the length. I never had him measured against doors, but the one that he gave me last Thursday, he put this long, long number in front of two doors on a church. Okay? They were white doors. Um, and... These numbers were so long, it was from one end of the door to the other end of the door, and there were only six to seven digits left on the end of the zillions of dollars that were on that number. All the other tiles were solid white tiles on the number dial on this graph of the economy number worldwide. Um, so if he's showing us that there's only six and seven digits, and that was a week ago, Tomorrow will be Thursday. There's just no way that that little of money could hold out in the world in a week. There's just no way. As is, I heard on the radio today, while I was with my daughter, on the radio it said they spent $64 billion last Saturday on Christmas. So... Um, expect the economy to fall out any day and expect these things to take place and happen. Uh, expect businesses to fall out and jobs to fall out. We need to be ready. I will be working for the next three days from 1030 to 5 p.m. I will have my cell phone in my car. You're welcome to text me. Uh, or call me and leave a voicemail, but I will not be answering my phone per my new job. They don't allow cell phones on the job. Anyway, I just want to say that I love you, and we all need to be on alert. And um, I just praise God for your friendship and for your help. Anyone that can help me financially, um, I, I need some support. I need some help. I helped Christina, and I provided food. I paid for her room. I was given some money on my channel, but not enough to keep her going. And I kept started using my own rent money to provide a room. Um, she decided to leave and go back home to Santa Barbara. Now I am hurting. I'm grieving at her decision. She has also ended our friendship. And um, she just felt like there should have been hundreds of people here to minister to her and love on her and I told her not everyone has the money and uh, not everyone had heard from the Lord yet to leave their areas even though the Lord had showed me all these things would happen so please pray for Christina um, she's out of medicine and she just um, she just couldn't take it in that room anymore and that I couldn't be with her every day. And I told her I have to work. And she was hoping that the safe haven doors would have already been opened. And I told her I am not God. And I cannot uh, tell anyone when the doors will be open until he hands me the keys himself. Anyway, I love you guys. This is it for now. But if any of you can support me in any way, I need some help. I am, as of January the 1, I'll be three months behind on rent. $300 I still owe for October. And I've not let any of you know. I've been trying to be patient and wait on my Lord for the safe haven money. And then he said he would pour out his blessings upon us for all that which had been stolen. I've been praying deeply on my knees and having faith in him. I haven't shared anything. But now I understand through Danielle that he said that I needed to open PayPal up and that he would send people to me to help me get on my feet. Well, I thought that was for Christina, but now she's gone and now I'm in debt more than I was before she was here. And I'm just asking for some help and some support. And I love you guys. And um, I don't want to put any burden on anyone. I'm just asking, if you can give $5, $10, $20, whatever you can give me to help me until I get these checks coming in, I need your help and I need your prayers. Um, 
I love you. Thank you for your love and support, and thank you all of you that have helped through this time of Christina being here and trying to help provide for her room. I greatly appreciate it, and I know the Lord greatly appreciates it. And I'm sorry that she became impatient, but she ran out of medicine, and she just couldn't take it anymore. And her doctor wasn't fulfilling her prescription, probably because he was on vacation for the holidays, and she just couldn't bear it anymore. So she went home um, last night or today. She's not in her motel room anymore. She checked out. Anyway, I love you guys. Please pray for her and um, pray that God will heal her heart uh, and remend our friendship. I love you guys and thank you for everything. And Danielle, I'm just so glad that you're back on your channel. Call me soon, my sister. Call me soon. I miss you deeply. And all of you that um, have lost connection with me, I miss you deeply and our friendships. I love you.